I'm Dudley Hirschbach. I was asked by a fifth grader whether I thought scientists were made or born. And uh, my answer was, I'm sure scientists are born just like everyone else. However, the difference is they're not unmade. Every little kid is a natural scientist because they're naturally curious and they also want to understand things they see. So they ask lots of why questions of their parents. Right? That's what science is. And yet, in school, they tend to be turned off. One reason is that it looks to them very dull. It's a question of getting the right answer by some particular procedure. But that's not like science when you're really doing science. The key thing is to help students realize that science is not something that belongs in the books and the elder generation. It belongs to anybody who gets interested in it. And you can take ownership yourself. And by having their own project, which is outside of what you're supposed to do in school and all, it transforms it entirely. Here at Texas A&M, to their credit, the physics department and the chemistry department each team up twice in the spring in the, and in the fall, an open house for the public and uh, people bring their kids and all. It's very, very popular. And one of the projects they have for the kids is to ride a bicycle, really it's a tricycle, with square wheels. Most people say, how can you have such a thing? Well, it's a perfect example of what science is about. It opens your eyes to new possibilities. That's what you'd like the general public the students and so on to most understand about science. The rest is details. <laughs> and if we teach it that way, so they get to take ownership of the ideas and discover things for themselves, I guarantee they stay kids, they stay young. A famous scientist said that scientists are the Peter Pans of humanity, the ones who never grew up. And uh, that's the ones who become scientists. But even those who don't become scientists ought to have the privilege in the 21st century, it should be part of their birthright, to understand the general nature of science and why it works.